Okay, so let's take a look at some of these rocks. We have this one, this one, and this one. So, this one looks a lot like ferns, some sort of plant, some sort of branching plant, uh, but it's actually not. This isn't a plant fossil at all. This is what we call a dendrite or a dendritic pattern. That branching pattern is dendritic. That's just not a term that's uh, reserved for rocks. We also use that term in um, neurology, the, in studying the brains, den dendritic, dendrites, um, and art and other applications. It's, it's, again, it refers to that branching pattern. But what is that stuff? Well, it's manganese coating on the rock surface, sometimes on a flat surface, a bedding plane, something like that. You'll get a lot of this branching pattern. And when you find some, you usually find a lot. Um, but it's super cool, and it really does look like plants, so I can understand why people might confuse that with plants. But just note that sometimes it's not a carbon coating. It's not actually organic-related. It is a manganese deposit on the surface. Okay, next up is this. Man, that looks like a petrified rose. It looks just like a rose. It's not. In this case, though, we do call them a rose. We call it a desert rose sometimes. Um, there are different minerals that form in this crystal shape where it forms in this concentric, these tabular um, circular patterns that you see here that look a lot like a rose. This is a rather large one. Um, they come in different sizes. Sometimes you'll have a single one that's small, a big one like this that's small, or a whole cluster of them. Um, some of those come out of Oklahoma. They're very um, popular from that area. And uh, yeah, like I said, they're called desert roses when it's made of uh, clear gypsum. We call them selenite roses, so you might come across that term. But again, this is just mineral deposits and not actually a rose that's been petrified in time. The last one that I'm going to show you here is something that uh, just a lot of people might find and confuse with petrified wood. Um, kind of a plant fossil in this case, but it's not petrified wood. So what is this? Well, we see these flow patterns and they'll break in these chunks like this, but it's tingy. So this, because it looks like this, it can be confused with petrified wood. Um, I've talked about this before. This is actually rhyolite. This is volcanic ash and this pattern is called flow banding. And it's actually just silica rich volcanic material that has deposited. And then as it erodes, it breaks up. But like I said, listen for the ting. Let me ting it on this one. You'll hear a more tingy sound. Um, and just paying attention to your environment, you'll be able to identify that this is actually rhyolite, but it's just good to be aware that that might be the case. So yeah, so there you go. Three different rocks or minerals that all can be confused with plants, but they are not in any way plant-based at all. More adventures to come here on Let's Go Geo, so please join me on the next adventure in the field, learning about geology, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!